Good morning and welcome to an all new Eye of the Tiger. I'm Gigi Pagel. And I'm Monique Carey. The RHS spring musical, The Addams Family, is opening this Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Patty Baker Theater. Other show dates are the following Friday at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. After a short break, Adam's Family will pick back up on Thursday the 2nd and continue through the weekend. Tickets for general admission is $12 and $10 for students and alumni. Tickets are purchasable at the door or online through the QR code on screen. And then we go to Addison Mahon with sports. Good morning, and welcome to this Tuesday's edition of EOTSN. I'm Addison Mahon. RHS sports were in full force last week, starting in the pool. Three relay teams qualified for the upcoming swim meet. Lily, Mehana, Lauren, Jackie, and Kian placed first and second individually at the CVC All-League Meet. Girls Varsity took third overall, with boys frosh off coming in third as well. On the court, volleyball had a game last Friday, coming home with a win 3-2 against Mesa Verde. Over the weekend, track had the annual Meet of Champions at American River College. Ella Bernasconi, Grace Williams, Mia Alexander, and Melissa Peterson beat a record for the 4x800 with a time of 9 minutes and 59 seconds. So we broke our school record, and I think we broke it maybe by like 30 seconds. So it was a pretty big thing. And right now we're ranked first in the league, so we're hoping to move on um, sections and hopefully masters as well. On the mat, Stutt had two meets last week, a meet against Wood Creek and another one on Monday against Sutter. Heading over to the lacrosse field, the boys came home with a win, beating the Creek 11-9 on their senior night. Finn Bradford had three goals, Jack Walker, Lincoln Crow, and Zane Cohens each had two goals and one assist. They played yesterday and came home with a win 13-11 against Grant. Their record is now 7-7 in league. Ending on the baseball diamond, last Friday, the boys lost to River Valley 3-2. They had a great start with Jackson Seeley throwing five innings and only surrendering one run. The Tigers had a cold offense and a sloppy defense. River Valley was able to capitalize and go home with the win. The Tigers gear up to face a solid Intercom team this week in a must-sweep scenario if they want to win the league title, thanks to Yuba City taking second in their series against Bella Vista. And that's all in your home for Roseville High School Sports. Top plays, break down some more. I have the Tiger Sports Network, EOTSN. And now we go over to entertainment. Thanks, Addison. Deadpool 3 dropped the trailer yesterday, and oh my lord, I'm so excited for this film. It's so refreshing to see Deadpool and his classic comedy thrive, even though it's constantly being meat blocked by Disney. In this sneak peek, we get more of a look at Wolverine and how his character will be in the movie. I just want to say Hugh Jackson is a perfect cast for our hero, and I'm so glad that Ryan Reynolds was able to get him back into it. In other news, Apple now allows emulators on the App Store so you can finally play all the vintage games you want from the comfort of your own phone. So far, you can only play NES, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Color and Advance, DS, N64, and Sega Genesis. Everything works great on iOS, and I hope that, no, I'm praying a 3DS version drops soon. I need Tomodachi life in my pocket. I'm Noah Whitaker, and now we go back to news. Thanks, Noah. After 31 years of teaching physics, teacher C.J. Addington is retiring. We go to Jacob Odell with the story. Longtime science teacher C.J. Addington's time at Roseville High School is coming to a bittersweet end this year. So I've been doing this job for 31 years, and of course, I don't know how much you know about teacher pension programs, but um, the longer you teach, the more you make in your pension, right? And it's finally reached a point that I can actually live on. So I feel like I'm ready to pull the cord and do other things in my life, so. Addington's origins in the profession began many years ago and he could not imagine pursuing any other career. His home at Roosevelt High School had simple beginnings. Simple beginnings that set him up for an enjoyable job. I decided to become a teacher because I love science, okay? I'm really, really into science. And I also wanted to work with people. I knew I didn't want to like sit in an office or a cubicle or in a lab or something. I wanted to work with people and especially young people. So I actually interviewed with several different campuses and this was the first campus that offered me a job and that's why I'm here, So, which I'm glad because as it turns out, this is a great uh, school, it's a great community. Um, there's a lot of sense of family here, you know, people stay here forever. Um, and so I've had a good time, I've loved this job. Reasons for his retirement are various, but Addison is certainly looking forward to pursuing outdoor activities that he wasn't otherwise able to pursue as a teacher. I'm really, really into nature and plants and animals and stuff, and I would like to spend more time out in nature. And I really want to get into um, like sharing nature with people who don't normally see a lot of nature. Interactions and relationships made with students are things not able to be found outside of teaching. 
Addington will miss such elements dearly. The personal connections, you know, the, the spending time with people, the human connection. Um, I'm probably going to miss that part the most. Um, just, you know, having students and having a class and building relationships with kids. Um, that's probably what I'm going to miss the most. Addington will not be leaving Roseville without a legacy. For as long as he's been here, through his science teaching, he has impacted the lives and schooling of a multitude of lucky students. Over the 31 years, I've had a lot of different things happen, but like for example, um, you know, working with the greenhouse, the campus greenhouse, you know, we're the only school in the district with a greenhouse. Um, we're the only school in the world that has ever flowered a corpse flower. If I do the math in my head, I have taught thousands of students in the 31 years. Um, and I just feel really proud that I've had an opportunity to, to, to reach and touch the lives of so many people, that I've shared science and the, the joy of science with that many people, and now they're headed out and having kids and doing jobs. Um, and so I think that's my biggest accomplishment, is just teaching science to thousands of people. Thanks, Jacob. That's it for us today on I, the Tiger. And remember, we're always on at iThetigerNews.com. See you next time.